Hello children, what do we breathe? Air, oxygen. What do we drink? Water, Water milk, milk, juice. juice. Okay, today we will learn about air and water. Air is a mixture of invisible gases. Our earth is surrounded by a layer of these gases in the form of an envelope known as atmosphere. It extends up to several hundred kilometers above the earth's surface. The atmosphere is thicker at the sea level and its thickness decreases with the increase of height. During the day, the earth traps some amount of sun's heat and reflects a large amount of heat back to the atmosphere. The atmosphere reflects it back to the earth partially to give us warmth during night. Atmosphere is not a single layer of gas. It is classified into many layers. Let us know about these layers. This is the lowermost layer of the atmosphere, which is needed by all living things. It is the thickest layer of air as compared to other layers. This is the second layer from the earth. Ozone is present in this layer, which filters all the harmful UV rays from the sun. The air of this layer is less dense. This layer is useful for flight of aeroplanes. The layer above stratosphere is called mesosphere. Meteor showers are seen in this layer of atmosphere. This is present above mesosphere. It is a very thin layer. This layer is used for the transmission of radio waves. This is the uppermost layer. There is no air in this layer. Also, Earth's gravity is very weak here. Air contains about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other gases such as carbon dioxide, argon, hydrogen, helium and neon. The percentage of dust, smoke, water vapors and air pollutants in air may vary from place to place. Oxygen is the most important gas. All living things require oxygen to live. The oxygen we breathe in burns the food we eat, which gives us energy. Oxygen is a supporter of combustion, so it is needed for burning of fuel. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas present in the atmosphere. All living things need nitrogen to make proteins. Carbon dioxide is used by the plants for photosynthesis. We all depend on the plants directly or indirectly for food. Do you know? About 8% oxygen is dissolved in water which can be used by aquatic animals for respiration. Though air is invisible, it has a definite weight. Let us find out through the following activity. Take two deflated football bladders. Fill one football with air. Weigh both of them. What do you see? This shows that air has weight. Anything that has weight also occupies space. So, air occupies space. Let us check how. Blow air into a balloon. What do you see? The balloon turns bigger and bigger. Why? It is because the air that you blow inside occupies the space inside the balloon. This shows that air occupies space. Anything that has weight and occupies space exerts pressure. So, air exerts pressure. The pressure exerted by air on the earth is known as atmospheric pressure. Take a glass and fill it with water up to brim. Press a cardboard on the top of the glass and quickly turn the glass upside down over a sink. Now, remove your hand from the cardboard. What do you see? You will see that neither the cardboard nor the water falls down. Why? This is because air exerts pressure on the cardboard in upward direction. This proves that air exerts pressure. Take an empty tin can, insert a balloon in it and blow air into it with the can. Tie the neck of the balloon and lift the balloon by its neck. What do you see? You see that the tin can also get lifted because air inside the balloon is pressing on all sides of the tin can. Air pressure can be used in many ways. Some of them are to draw ink into fountain pen to draw medicine into medicine dropper or syringes. Cycle, car and bus tires are filled with air for smooth driving. To draw water using hand pumps. Air pressure can also be used to make fountains. 
to suck the juice through straw, to make hot air balloons, to rotate windmills for grinding grains. Do you know? A helicopter is an aircraft which has revolving wings. These wings are called rotors. The rotors rotate with fast speed to reduce the air pressure above them and the craft is lifted upwards. Water is essential for life. We cannot live without it. Human body contains about 70% water. Several life processes essential for living organisms need water. Water is a colorless, tasteless and odorless liquid. It freezes at 0 degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It is known as universal solvent because it can dissolve a large number of substances. Water may not be good and clean all the time. It may have some impurities in it. Impurities of water can be classified into soluble and insoluble. Soluble impurities are salts and minerals. Insoluble impurities are small stones, sand, mud, etc. Besides impurities, water may also contain microorganisms. To make the water fit for drinking, all harmful impurities and microorganisms should be removed. Some methods to remove these impurities and purifying water are In this method, when muddy water is kept undisturbed for some time, mud settles down and the clear water remains in the upper part. This can be separated slowly by pouring clean water, which is at the top, into another vessel. The sediments are left behind. The separation of insoluble impurities with the help of filter paper or filtering medium is known as filtration. For filtration, filter paper can be folded twice, open one part to get a cone shape and fit this cone in a glass funnel. To make the filter paper stick to the glass funnel, sprinkle some water over it. Now, pour the impure water into the funnel with the help of a glass rod slowly. Clean water will get collected in the glass beaker and impurities will be left behind on the filter paper. The three steps involved in this method are heating impure salt water, collecting the water vapors. By cooling the vapors, we get clean water. As collecting the vapors is very difficult, this method is usually used to collect the solute. By using evaporation method, the dissolved substance can be recovered by the solvent. Water is lost. By using distillation method, we can recover both the solute, salt, and the solvent, water. Take some impure water in a retort. Connect other end of the retort to a receiver flask through a condenser, which is continuously cooled down by running water. Now, heat the retort. You will notice that the water vapors reach the receiver flask after condensation. Substance left behind in the retort is only impurities, while pure and clean water is collected in the receiver. This pure water is known as distilled water. As it is pure without germs and impurities, it can be used in medicines, car batteries and science labs, etc. Distillation is the best method to get pure water. Take a beaker, fill it with salt solution. Now, keep the beaker on a burner and heat it. What do you observe? You will find that after some time the water evaporates and a white residue is left behind. The water vapors can be collected by keeping a plate containing ice tilted over the beaker. The water vapor on striking the cold surface of the plate will condense to form water which can be collected in a beaker. When you taste this white substance, you will find that it is salt. Water fit for drinking is known as potable water. Sometimes the tap water that we get from water supply may contain impurities and microorganisms. Consumption of this dirty water may make us sick. So, it is essential to purify the water supplied before consumption. Several methods of purification of water are Boiling is the easiest and safest method of purifying water. Water chlorination is the process of adding chlorine to water to make it fit for human consumption. Water that has been treated with chlorine is the effective in preventing the spread of waterborne diseases. It is a water treatment known as reverse osmosis RO system. It is used to remove salts from water. 
Let us summarize. Air is a mixture of gases. Main component of air is nitrogen, 78%. We cannot live without air because it contains 21% oxygen, which is the most essential gas for every living being. Oxygen is also required for combustion. Air has weight and exerts pressure. We use air pressure in many ways in our daily life. Water is also very important for every living being, without which we cannot survive. The impurities of water are of two types, insoluble and soluble impurities. Impurities of water can be removed by many methods like sedimentation, decantation, filtration, evaporation and distillation. Water, which is fit for drinking, is known as potable water.